Today we're going to look at recording your game footage on the Quest 2. This could be to record your best shots on Top Golf like me. Oh, for f Or because you want to send your granddad some gameplay of Gorn to remind him of the good old days. You know, those days when men were men, they didn't wash and they had moustaches. Teachers could also do things like this. You bat! Make the fence. Can we close one? Okay, enough reminiscing about the good old days. Let's jump into how you record on the Quest. We're going to show you the standard way and how you can record widescreen in a couple of different ways with a bonus tip at the end. Let's start with the default recording experience you get out of the box with your Quest 2. You simply click on sharing and recording. You'll then see a red dot near the top right of the screen and that tells you that you're recording. Click on recording again to stop the recording of your video. To see what you've recorded, go back into sharing and click on view all. Now the problem with this method is it doesn't record in widescreen. As you can see here, you get these black lines either side of your footage, which may be okay if that's what you're after, but there is also a way to do this in widescreen. So the first way to get widescreen in your recordings is to use SideQuest. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up SideQuest today. If you'd like to see a tutorial on that, please leave a comment. But all you need to do is connect up your Quest to your laptop or PC. And within SideQuest, click on the spanner in the top right hand corner. Then you get loads of settings which will control basically what happens in your Quest 2 headset. And you scroll down to this setting here called Set Video Capture Size. And I always select 1080. Now you just go into your headset, use the same method to record that I showed you in the default version. And it will record in 1080p widescreen. So it will look more like this. One thing to remember using this method is it will only last until the headset is next restarted. If you wanted to record in that setting again, you'd have to hook it up to SideQuest and select 1080 again. The final method I'm going to show you is how to make a widescreen recording using a video editor. In this example, I'm using a free editor called OpenShot. I've pulled in the same video from earlier with the recording from default so you can see the black lines at the edges. And it's really simple this. All I'm going to do is transform the video and then stretch it. So basically I'm going to create the effect of widescreen using the editing tool by stretching the image. It's a bit of a faff but it looks okay to be honest. I always prefer using the SideQuest method. I think once you've set up SideQuest, it's so easy to go in, change the setting quickly, record what you want, and it comes out great. If you enjoyed today's video and found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. It's a massive help for a small channel like us, and we really appreciate the support. So the quick bonus I was going to show you, if you want to share something quickly, you don't need to faff at all. All you need to do is go into sharing, find the video or photo that you wish to share, and in the top right hand corner, click on this arrow thing and hey presto, you can share it to your social media straight away. I'll leave you today with some footage I took using the side quest method of a strange app lab game called Blobby Tennis. See you next time.